Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Quinn Hart with UC Davis, and I'm going to talk about Brazil as well. Um, but I'm going to talk about um, harvesting sugarcane fields. And um, this is kind of a gentle evolution into Earth Engine, a project that we started outside of it and moved into it. And, and so I think it's kind of interesting. And it's kind of an interesting project, too, a simple, simple thing. We did this work for um, uh, the Air Resources Board in California for the low carbon fuel standard. So in California, we expect to get about a 10% savings in the carbon intensity of our fuel by 2020. And the way that you do that is you just um, replace some of your fossil fuels with renewables. And uh, Brazilian ethanol is actually a good fuel for that. Um, it's got a good carbon intensity. But it actually depends on how it's harvested. So if you actually manually harvest that, um, a lot of that, they burn the, fu the fields first, and a lot of that goes into the atmosphere, and you lose about 30% of your credit. So the way it works is that the... Uh, uh, ethanol producers will actually submit a high-resolution map to the Air, Resource, Air Resources Board, but they self-report what kind of harvesting that they do. And so they came to us and asked for um, some validation of those um, numbers. So we looked at that first, and we decided um, we would use a MODIS product, the burned area product, in order to do that. It's a really simple product. It uh, comes out every month, and it's just one value. It says what day a particular pixel started to burn. So we just said we'd overlay that with the sugar cane fields and we'd come up with our estimate of how much burning was, was going on with these individual fields. This didn't actually exist in Earth Engine at the time, so we did this kind of a more traditional way, combination of post and grass together. And at the end, we came up with these very nice um, KML documents that we'd give back to the Air Resources Board and they'd move on to their producers as well. And this is how we did our, um, our estimates on the burning. And it actually worked really well. We found uh, we got a lot of agreement with what they reported, but we also found a lot that they would underreport how much burning was going on. Um, and so we'd come back and we'd say, no, we don't agree with, with that. You get a lower credit. Well, occasionally they would come back and they would say, well, they dispute that. And it was hard for us to, to look. If you can see, you can see that an individual sugarcane field is about on the order of a single pixel. So when MODIS would come, it would be hard for us to, to, to do these disputes by looking at the MODIS imagery, by just saying, you know, well, that pixel's red. So what we did is that we used Earth Engine for this dispute support. And uh, it was very simple, actually. We didn't even use um, the playground. We could do this all in the workspace. Um, we knew when the MODIS pixel said that it would be burned we'd just pull up some Landsat imagery in the workspace. We'd find an image beforehand and an image afterwards that was cloud-free. Oh my gosh. Um, and we'd, uh, we'd calculate the, uh, the difference between those to come up with uh, um, an index and we'd be able to create reports that showed that. And so um, from that, we, found a, we, we came up with a new problem. By 2013, we were finding that we were actually underestimating what the harvesters were reporting. So what ARB asked us to do is go back and look at our system. They said, well, you can do these high resolution um, processing in, for the reports. Why can't you do it for all of it? And so with Earth Engine, we built a quick script that did the exact same thing. It would take intervals be above and beyond certain um, dates in the image, clear sky pixels, and we would um, create a, a change in the burned area index and then we could run uh, statistics, statistics over all of the regions in the sugarcane in order to come up with a different and complementary map to what we get from MODIS.